Hi, right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Solo Garage. Uh, so today we are finally unboxing uh, our K1 Lab Ducktail spoiler. Uh, like I said, I'd ordered it back in August. We are now in March. I think it arrived beginnings or maybe middle of February. So that's how long that's been. Um, like I've mentioned before, anything from Japan is taking approximately six months to arrive, which really freaking sucks. But we're about to open this baby up, and then we're going to take it over to a friend's house and install it there. Alright, so here we have the box. Uh, K1 Laboratory Research and Development. Um, it's got some mouse in there. I don't know what it's for exactly. What's really freaking neat, in my opinion, <laughs> all this Japanese. Uh, I guess newspaper you would call it. Messages. I said my first time seeing anything like that. And this piece is super light. But then again, it is carbon fiber. So I'm actually going to leave it like this and take this with me. And like I said, going over to a friend's house, the whole Sriracha crew is going to be there and we'll be putting this on so see you guys in a bit all right so here we are uh got the whole sriracha crew uh, i got another s2000 a couple more cars out there Here she is. Super freaking light. Got something in there. Um, got the hardware. Just four bolts. Um, got some washers type things. Oh. Any of the words right now, but it looks like uh, all there is to it is removing the third brake light and then just put in this. So, pretty simple. All right, so finally able to get that out. <laughs> Thanks in part to Gary, <laughs> said he don't want to be in it. Um, Oops, sorry about hitting the mic. All right, so here we have it all the way off. Let me get. So this one right here was a pain in the ass. Don't want to come out. Um, so they are eight millimeter uh, nuts. I was using a 38 ratchet. Uh, with an extension and a uh, deep socket for the the four on the outside and then for this uh, middle one I did end up using a quarter inch ratchet with a deep uh, deep well socket uh, and then we switched to a short socket uh, at the very end so um, also be careful pulling it out oh. before that you do have to disconnect it so disconnect your third brake light um, also careful when pulling it out because it does have pretty much what uh, K1 has provided these little uh, seals that are 
have been in there for a while. And we're gonna clean this off probably first too. But just careful pulling it out. Don't wanna damage your brake light. But we'll clean this up real quick and then put everything on. All right, so we got our little, I guess, rubber seals uh, on. About to put the duct tail on. And then put the bolts on from the other side. There she is, fully on. Really loving the way that looks with the black. Um, I'll get a better look tomorrow in daylight. But so far, I love the way it looks. Alright, so it is the next day. Got some sunlight. We're gonna have a better look at this uh, duck tail. Like I mentioned yesterday, I'm really loving the way it looks, especially with the black. Uh, also, another thing I do love about the DuckTales, <clears throat> I love how simple the attachment is uh, using the uh, OEM third brake light holes. So if I ever just want to take it out, I can just take those four bolts out and swap my brake light back in. So. I like the simplicity of that. I think more companies need to focus on that. Uh, a lot of times they overcomplicate it, you know, <clears throat> make it a pain to install uh, instead of kind of going off the OEM design. Um, but that is it for today. A super simple uh, modification, but one that I think is super clean. Uh, thanks to Evasive, <laughs> it's not their fault everything's taking so long from Japan and uh, also thanks to K1 Laboratory in Japan for making such a great product. So until the next one, I hope you guys stay safe, enjoy your day, and I will see you guys on the next one.